that the Ku Klux Klan is Freemasons. And if you go watch that documentary I did on this very YouTube channel uh, called Malcolm X Revenge, Nation of Islam Exposed, Malcolm X said that Elijah Muhammad, who was also a Freemason, and we're going to get into that, made a deal with the KKK against black people. Go watch it. Malcolm X said it out his own mouth. So these Freemasons are operating through lower branches of organizations that are just the fall guys for who they really are. Now watch this. Watch this. Let me go in. Let me go in. Let me go in. Look at this. Look at this. Shout out to General Seti, the only black man I acknowledge as an older head, my only elder. Shout out to General Seti, okay? Now y'all remember when we did this lecture and he banged this picture out, okay? And I had to grab this picture, but I'm go I'm not going to never jack nobody else research. Now, look at the look at this Ku Klux Klan uniform. What do you see? It got the Islamic star on there. Now we know that white people are not Islamic. So we have to ask ourselves, why the fuck does the original KKK uniform got the crescent moon and the star? Because they were fucking Shriners. They were Masons. Look at this book, right? This book came out in 1915. This is before the Nation of Islam was even thought of. The Nation of Islam was not founded till 1933. This book is called the Koran with the K. Because the K is for Turk, for Turkish terminology. Just like on this Shriner hat, you got Al Quran. These motherfuckers was Freemasons. You can go buy this book right now. The Quran, Knights of the Ku Klux Klan. This is the KKK Freemasonic book. And then what happened was Marcus Garvey came. And Marcus Garvey started trying to wake black people up to be psychologically Afrocentric. And so what these white Masons did was the same thing they did today. They put agents all in the black community to push Islam because our original slave masters were Arabs. I keep telling y'all before whites ever enslaved us, Arabs enslaved us. And so they gave us Noble Jew Ali, who was, and I exposed him or everybody I'm about to name, I already exposed. Noble Jew Ali was pushing Islam, Freemasonry, came after Marcus Garvey. Uh, Elijah Muhammad, pushing Islam, Freemason, came after Marcus Garvey. Uh, whatchamacallit, Louis Pussy Farrakhan, Freemason, helped kill Malcolm X, came after Marcus Garvey. Now watch this. The KKK, they took off the Islamic robe and they gave it to these motherfuckers. But the crescent moon and the star is symbolic to Baphomet. Look. And Albert Pike, who, who, who is the one who, who, who introduced the Ku Klux Klan into Freemasonry, is the one who gave them this symbol. Because Albert Pike, in his book, Morals and Dogma, which I'm going to show, admits that the god of Freemasonry is Lucifer. So the KKK took this shit off, and they gave it to these motherfuckers. And they out here talking about the white man is the devil. Meanwhile, the NOI and the KKK been clicked up. The whole time. The whole time. That's why we haven't went nowhere. And if I'm lying, where is Farrakhan right now? I'm going hard. I ain't got no bodyguards. I ain't got no police outside my house. And I'm going hard. And I'm one nigga by myself with two kids I got to look out for and a queen. I ain't got no, I ain't got no motherfucking, no motherfucking uh, FOI at my house. Where is Farrakhan? He's quiet because that nigga is a mason. Don't believe me? Look right here. What's that? What's that? What's that? They sold us out and don't nobody want to say it. Don't nobody want to say it. Don't know, I'm going to say it. This shit is all planned and it's all set up. And the grimy ass niggas of the black community have been working with the grimy ass bitches from the white community in these Masonic lodges in order to deceive this country and bring this motherfucker down. And I caught you bitches. And I caught you hoes. Where's Farrakhan? Oh, he's probably somewhere right now with Governor Cuomo sucking his nuts. That's probably where he's at. Now let's keep it moving. They put this on. So they took this off 
and they put this on, okay? Now look at the cross, okay? Because I want to tell y'all something. They say the KKK is a Christian organization, which it is. But this is not a Christian cross. This is a Coptic cross that comes out of Africa. But when it's used by these secret society members, it's from the Knights of Templar. Now, look at the Knights of Templar cross. Look at the KKK cross. Look at the fucking Quran. They're called the Knights of the Ku Klux Klan. The reason they say Knights is because they are the hitmen of the Knights of Templar. The Ku Klux Klan are the hitmen for Freemasons. Yes. And then when they get caught, it doesn't look like Freemasons. It looks like just random racism. And now we mad at white people instead of being mad at secret societies. Do y'all see how this shit go? Let me say it again. We get mad at random white people that we don't fucking know. Instead of getting mad at secret societies. That is how they have been manipulating us for damn near 100 years in this country. And, I, and, and, and it's, it's stopping. It's stopping the day. We know who it is. And, and, and the reason that the Knights of Templar are important is because the Knights of Templar are the ones who created the Luciferian doctrine. If you study the history of the Catholic Church, the Knights were fighting on behalf of the Pope against the motherfuckers, the Ottoman Empire and, and, and the Turkish military. And the, and, the, and the Knights of Templar came to this understanding that Adam and Eve was actually enslaved in the Garden of Eden, in the Garden of Eden by God, and that Lucifer freed them. And this is why they started to worship Lucifer. But they said they didn't want to tell the Pope that because he would have got their heads knocked off for going against God. So they created a secret society. So the Knights of Templar are the, are the fathers of this shit. And every time you see the KKK with this cross on, this is a Knights of Templar cross. This is not a Christian cross. And the only reason they wear this shit now and don't wear this is because they gave this to these dumbass sellout niggas. And that's why every leader of the black community has been a what? A Muslim. They've been telling you to do what? Become a Muslim. That's all they do. Every leader. Tell me I'm lying. Every single leader after Marcus Garvey has been a what? A Muslim. Noble Drew Ali, Muslim. Muslim, Louis Farrakhan, Muslim, Elijah Muhammad, Muslim, Malcolm X. He woke up from being a Muslim and they killed him. Soon as Malcolm X went to Egypt and came back over here talking to black people and telling us that we was Egyptians, they killed him. Why, why y'all acting like y'all don't see that? Malcolm X went to the Middle East and he went to Africa and came back and started teaching about Egypt and started teaching about the shit our ancestors did. And that's when they killed him. Because he was teaching us about Egypt, exposing Elijah Muhammad for being a pedophile, and he was threatening the government once again by telling black people to get involved politically. And we know that when we get involved politically, we're a threat. This is why they use the KKK to kill motherfuckers like they've been doing. And it stops today. And I'm going to let y'all know, I'm going to get my disclaimer before I go. I ain't got no beef with law enforcement. I ain't got no beef with you. But you have been infiltrated by Freemasonic racist motherfuckers and sell out ass niggas. I don't trust y'all. So I'm going to just let y'all know. Don't pull me over. Don't say shit to me. Don't come to my house. Leave me the fuck alone because I'm going to automatically assume it's an assassination attempt and I'm going for mine. And that's not a threat. I'm, I'm very respectful. I'm going to hand you my license. This is my disclaimer. Let me, let me get my disclaimer. Don't let the media lie on. I'm going to hand you my motherfucking license. I'm going to cooperate. I'm going to be very calm. Soon as I feel like somebody putting their hand, I'm, I'm going to defend myself. I'm just letting y'all know I'm not letting nobody kill me. I'm going to tell my mother, I'm going to tell the motherfucking truth. Straight up. Straight up. Leave, don't say shit to me. I don't trust you, motherfucker. Until y'all detox y'all, y'all, y'all own regime, nigga, I don't fuck. I don't, I don't trust nobody in this country. I don't trust a motherfucker in this country but myself. Now, with that being said, let's keep it moving. Look at these white Freemasons on the left. And look at Louis Farrakhan and these nigga Freemasons on the right. Can you tell me what's the difference? It's not no difference. Louis Farrakhan is telling you the white man is the devil. 
okay, in our community, and then white people are in a community telling other white people that black people ain't shit. But meanwhile, they both conspiring against both of us together. So Farrakhan is telling us the white man is the devil. Mind you, he been getting bread from the white man since day one. Help, help set Michael, Malcolm X up for the white man. The white man is telling white people that niggas ain't shit. Mind you, they over here fucking with niggas behind the scenes. So we're all being lied to. We're all being lied to. And this is why can't nobody figure it out. This is why can't nobody figure it out. This is why white people like, it's not all of us. And this is why niggas is like, damn, I can't, I don't really know who to be mad at, but I know I'm getting fucked over. Now you know who to be mad at. They, these motherfuckers right here. These motherfuckers. These motherfuckers. Now this is Albert Pike, 33rd degree Freemason. This is the nigga who transferred the Ku Klux Klan and brought them into the sector of Freemasonry. This is why the KKK uh, have grand wizards. They go by degree. They do everything that Freemasons do because they are a Freemasonic hit squad. That is what they are. That is what they are. Call it like it is. Now watch this. This is a book right here that Albert Pike wrote called Morals and Dogma. And I typed this shit up, this shit from page 102. It says, the true name of Satan, the Kabbalists say, is that of Yahweh reversed. For Satan is not a black God, but the negation of God, the devil is this personification of atheism and idolatry. So that's one page. Now, if you get this book and you go to page 321, Albert Pike also says, Lucifer, the light bearer, strange and mysterious name to give the spirit of darkness. Lucifer, the son of the morning, is it he who bears the light and with its splendors, intolerable, blinds, feeble, sensual, and or selfish souls doubt it not. Albert Pike, Morals and Dogma of the Ancient and Accepted Scottish Rites of Freemasonry. The fucking book is right here. So don't tell me that these motherfuckers don't worship the devil. I don't give a fuck if you believe in the devil or not. Don't tell me they don't. Don't you tell me that. If you are a Freemason, you worship the devil. Nigga, I don't give a fuck what you bitches is talking about. I don't give a fuck what you bitches is talking about. You worship the devil. This is why you rape these babies and you sacrifice these babies. And you motherfuckers want to take over the whole country and have the whole country worshiping the devil. That is your agenda. And I'm not going to let you do it. I'm not going to let you do it. I'm going to blow it. Boom, I'm blowing it up. Boom, download this video, share this motherfucker everywhere. And now the next time we go outside, we know where to go. I told you dumb bitches, do not go outside tearing up random shit. I told you hoes that. You didn't listen. Sit your stupid ass down. Read them fucking deep state books I told you to read. Study. I did all of the research for you. Go subscribe to my fucking web, my website, youngfarrow.net. Watch all that shit. And then you know what it is. The fuck? Now let me, now watch this. Because, let me drink my water. Let me drink my water. I've been up for three days straight and I'm still turned. I still, I'm still turned. I was tired before I went live. I ain't gonna lie. I'm turned now though. Mm -hmm. You dumbass niggas out there letting these motherfucking agents influence you to cause anarchy, you fucking retards. But with that being said, so what happened was this, right? People like Malcolm X and, and niggas like me, we caused the KKK to not just be in the open, okay? And I'm not saying every racist white man is a pussy because they not. It's some gangster white boys. Don't believe me? Go to prison and find out. But with that being said, they know they can't just walk out in public like that. And so what they did was they started to become law enforcement. Why would the KKK become law enforcement? Because the Democratic Party, a.k.a. the Freemason Party, can now use these motherfuckers for their agenda. Now, if you don't believe me, look at this. This is the Los Angeles Sheriff County's badge. This is called the Fraternal Order of the Police. Lodge number 84. The police are a Freemasonic agency. Yes, they are. Now, you might be a police officer and you don't know that. That's okay. 
I'm not saying everybody go to war with the police. 